I'm me and you're you. <laughs> no, but um, so the reason why I'm opening up like that is because I'm actually thinking about changing the name of the channel. And I think, I want to say that I usually don't open up my videos in this manner, or in the manner of like me introducing myself or whatever, but understand that I'm still trying to find myself when it comes to streaming and um, and all that kind of good stuff. So I was going to save all my streams on my Twitch channel using the highlight feature, but I decided against it. What I'm going to do is just before they expire, um, whittle down the dead time if there is dead time um, from these videos and I'm going to save them onto YouTube where they will live forever and they will be nicely um, divided um, categorized depending on the game so right now I have an Animal Crossing folder I, right now I'm working on the Spirit Fair folder I have some beauty, well I have a lot of beauty content on there right now. I have vlog uh, content there. I have, um, what else do I have? I have a mukbang on, or mukbang video on there, which I want to do more of, but I, have, I really, I, ha I, I have to actually sit down, organize, and think about this right now. So, um, since I'm doing that, since I'm taking the videos from here and I'm bringing them down, you know, I'm downloading them and I'm editing them and putting them onto YouTube, since it's a fairly new decision, um, I have quite a few videos to catch up on. So once I'm caught up on, you know, the videos, editing the videos, then I can actually sit down and think about, um, my next month bong and what that's gonna entail my first mukbang was with my niece who just turned 15 yesterday pretty proud of it um but we had a great mukbang or mukbang i keep wanting to say mukbang because i know I, and that's not the way you pronounce it it's mukbang 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 anyways um and if you noticed i just did my hair just dyed it purple because it's been living purple for like a long time um, anyways so welcome to spirit fair if you don't know what spirit fair is um, it's a cozy little game that has to do with um, moving on death spirits and all that kind of stuff but it's not as grim as you think it would be it's actually very like heartfelt um and if you've watched my previous streams before you already know what i'm talking about but um so what i've been doing that's not what i want oh, what? oh um what i've been doing is i've been grinding offline i don't know why i do that like that is what i was doing i don't know maybe it's because i'm still very new to this to gaming um i've been grinding off line trying to obtain the stones from Elena's errands that I have to complete with Francis right and that's what I've been doing so I went to an island thinking that I was gonna um, buy seed which I did and I figured you know let me explore the island again for, like keep in mind that I've already been on this island before okay I've been on this island but I now have new abilities, so it's like maybe I, um, there's other things that I haven't seen on this island because I was lacking these abilities, right? So, on, in doing so, I actually met a spirit that was supposed to board my ship, and he boarded my ship. So, unfortunately, I don't have that initial interaction with him. Um, what I was able to do was just build his home for him and his name is buck and i don't know if he's a dragon or a bird he looks like a dragon like a tiny little dragon bird he's really cute and he's he talks like he's larping a hundred percent of the time so as you can see right here he wants me to pick up or just find his friends who also larp with him 
Um, as you can tell, I'm not quite done with Elena's last errand just yet because there was three of them. I was able to knock out two. Unfortunately, um, I need ex I need to learn how to make XP lotion, XP potion, to get the diamonds that I need to complete this errand. We still need to watch Stanley's play, and we are not going to the Vidoria just yet. So, we still have quite a few things to do. Uh, June 16th is rolling around sooner than expected. I thought I was going to have time to play the other games that I bought, but I, I don't know if I will. Um, but, I mean, we'll see. <sighs> I just want to quit my job and do this full time. Because <laughs> um, I just feel like I'm always... I don't know. It's like my decisions when it comes to this kind of stuff. Like with streaming and stuff. My decisions to make myself more organized end up taking a lot more time than I anticipated. So making these decisions actually put me back. Um, pushes my schedule back. So it feels like I'm always trying to catch up or if I'm behind schedule. You know? Even though, it's like, to you, it probably just looks like, well, I mean, you made it to your stream on time. <laughs> but there's, like, I edit some, I edit stuff. So. Anyways, and I'm not, like, a pro editor either, which I would love to learn how to be a pro editor, you know, just to make my videos a little more interesting, sort of, like, flex my editing prowess on my videos. But I'm not quite there yet. Um... And in order to do that, I need time. Um, which, I mean, 24 hours in a day? That's not enough time. I don't think so, anyway. So right now, what we're going to do first is we're going to go to Oxbury because if I remember correctly, that's where Stanley is going. That's where his play is going to be. So we're all going to go watch his play. And this right here, ladies and gentlemen, and everything in between, everyone in between, this is Buck. Uh -huh. Let me see what... He can eat fruit. That's what I know. He can eat fruit. Maybe he can eat cheese sticks. I cannot accept your generous offer, as I've crossed paths, paths with him. Lactogroth, the Nob Goblin, cursed me out of jealousy. A dreadful level three lactose intolerance. Yes, it's a conjuration ritual. I won't talk about what happens if I ingest the smallest dose of dairy. So he's lactose intolerant and he can't eat fruit. What about this? Humble thanks, Commander. This sustenance is right on time. My hunger was reaching level one. Commander, I, well, never mind. I have some snacks, Stella. Do you want some? Okay. I wonder if Stanley would appreciate this, uh, the candy. Candy! The music is so freaking cool. Um, so right now, I want to look for Stanley so I can give him some of this candy. Because I don't think I've ever made candy in my kitchen before. Hey, Stanley, want some candy? With some candy, Stanley. Wait, is this the candy? Oh, this is the. <laughs> it's the really cute bit of like hard candy and chocolate. I have to do the dance, the dessert dance. I do it when I'm happy. I'll eat this delicious dessert first. It's dessert time. So yummy. Oh, look at him in a good mood. I did this drawing for you. Oh, he drew himself. That's really cute. His mood is good, and let's give him a hug. Because they like that. Oh wow, you're good at this. Oh look, cool. All right, so we're at Oxbury. Um, I think I only have, I think I only have them two on my ship. So, like I said before, I was doing a lot of stuff online, offline. One of the things that I was trying to do took me to Oxbury. Someone's knocking on the door. One second. I'm very sorry. All right. 
I'll give I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you ADP salespeople. Very very insistent. I get it and maybe you make a commission off of it. Off of your sales. And if you do, you know, like I'm, I'm not mad at you, okay? Um right. Excuse me. All right. Let's continue. Uh, yeah, it is Oxbury. Uh, let's talk. Are you ready to watch my play now? Yeah, so that's what I was telling you. When I was offline doing all this other stuff, um, I accidentally went to Oxbury not realizing that this is where the play was supposed to be for Stanley. And I had to turn him down. And it was very heartbreaking to see his like little mushroom face just fall when I told him, no, I'm not ready to watch the play. Anyways, ooh, I was about to tell him no again. Are you ready to watch my play now? Yes. Get ready. There is a girl with a big hat. She's tall. She runs around everywhere. She does everything. There's this big gate. It's huge. It's shiny. Where is it anyways? That girl knows. Because when you're ready, she takes you. Then you leave with her. It's long. Everyone else is sad. Then, boom, big lights and a big rumble. Explosion, wind, dust, smoke everywhere. Everything is quiet for a second. Then we don't get to see our friend again. That's when the real pain starts. The end. Thank you for coming. <laughs> I think it's very strange that Stella is enjoying this. <laughs> Because she's bas he's basically just verbalized the painful, possibly traumatic responsibility that comes with being a spirit fair with people that you grow attached to because they live on your ship. So that's interesting. <laughs> All right, so let's look at our um, request. There it is brain fart big 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 brain fart um i wonder if we have to talk to stanley now usually when you uh fulfill someone's request you do have to speak to them so let's find out if we do oh he's asleep so we might have to talk to him tomorrow so what i'll do right now since we're able to travel when the sun is down i mean when the sun is up sun is down when it's nighttime okay um, I'm gonna go ahead and set sail for Hummingbird, which I think is like the furthest uh, island from here. Hummingbird, Hummingbird, Hummingbird. Cool. Perfect. All right, we're setting sail. Oh, do we set? I'm trying to remember if I go to sleep. Will the journey continue or will it stop? Hmm. You know, let, let's take a chance because at the very least, if we go to sleep and we wake up, we can have a conversation with Stanley then. Oh. Crap. We walked, we, we're sailing through a, um, a meteor shower. So let me decline the event so that we can go to sleep. Come on, come on, come on. No. All right, so I, I didn't want to upgrade my ship. I didn't want to upgrade my, um, the, um, the size of it. But if I remember correctly, the last time I was faced with the choice of upgrading or not um when i upgraded it it triggered like progression into the storyline so i was like well i don't want to not upgrade it just in case like um i hit a wall in this game and i'm over here wondering what it is and it's only because i just didn't upgrade the size of my ship you know so i just went ahead and made it bigger so yep ah oh, look 
He's so cute. I really like him. I like him because he just has so much to say. You know? He's so chatty. And I don't know, like, I think LARPing is cool because, like, it's essentially just acting, but you're, like, so freaking committed. And there's got, there's, and I don't know, I feel like if you're not into it, then you're gonna suck at it, you know? And I guess your LARPing is not gonna be believable or any good. So I would just assume, oh, that was amazing, right? I'm sure everyone liked it. Please, Stella, go and ask around. But wait, wait, wait. Don't flat out, flat out ask about it. Don't make it too obvious. Be cool, big hat. Okay. Um, but I don't know, I think that's what probably makes it cool is that they're like really into whatever it is that they're LARPing. So therefore the LARPing is good, you know? Okay, Stanley wants to talk to us again, so we're gonna go talk to him. Um, what did they say? Really? Really? They all said they liked it? Really, really liked it? Are you sure, Big Hat? I don't know. I'm just not convinced. I can see it on your face. They told you they liked it, but it was not good. It was terrible, and I didn't do it right. I know it. Even if you try to hide it, I just can't do nothing right. I will never make another play. I hate it. <laughs> and at that moment, she... My cat decides to just fall over. <laughs> now she's being dramatic. You're being a little dramatic. Whoa! Thanks! This is so good. I don't know, maybe later. Hmm. I don't like hearing so many bad things about me. Why were people mean? It's okay as the mood. Hmm. Let's go talk to Buck because I'm pretty sure we have to feed him. Uh, oh, there he is. Oh, we don't. But we can hug him. I was in dire need of a spirit heal. My mana was low. I imagine that's what he sounds like. Like very, um, like proper, like, you know? <laughs> But yeah. Anyways. Oh, he's excited. What's he excited about? I don't get it. People usually like my plays. And I like doing them. Now I don't really feel like doing them anymore. Hmm. Uh oh. My mom sometimes yells at me. I don't know why she does it. I kind of feel the same now. Bad. I don't feel so great. I think I should be alone. Mm. Oh. What the hell is this guy doing? I guess he's just vegging out. <laughs> okay. Buck is a weird one, I must say. But yeah, I think they're the only ones. Oh, right. I forgot to show you guys. I built more um, sheep corrals, that way I know where they all are. That way they're not just roaming around, potentially eating, potential, potentially eating my stuff. I didn't mean to share this guy. You're, you guys already know, like, I don't like sharing my sheep. If you're gonna piss me off sheep, I'd rather you look cute when you do it. Okay. Unfortunately, to have a third sheep corral, I'm gonna need like a lot of material, and I was it was already close to time for me to stream. So here I am with three sheep in a sheep corral, and one of them is just like aimlessly roaming around my enormous freaking ship. Oh. Whoa! Did you guys see that? Well, Stanley said that he. Oh, there you are. There you are. There you are, you spawn of Satan. Spawn of Satan. Okay, so I want to look for Stanley again because I don't know. I feel like there's another conversation that I need to have with him. 
Um, hmm, okay. Let me get off the ship because we're already at Hummingbird. So let's just go, fri go find Buck's friend. Oh my god. So this time I bought the right purple. Okay. Because I, I don't know if you noticed the last time I dyed my hair I had pink at the roots. And it wasn't an intentional choice. It was very much a mistake. I bought the wrong purple. I bought a fuchsia instead of a purple. Oh. I'm dizzy, miss. Um, so yeah, now it's like all like one uniform color. Love it. Ah, Buck is finally ready. About time. I've spent all my pocket money on glittery dice. I'm more than ready. And yeah, yeah, okay. Ahem. I am the mighty M. Daryl of the... Oh, screw it. I'm Jerome, okay? I know I should be in character, but whatever. Come on, what's the riddle? Hmm. I see. This one's a doozy. I need to think about it. But I'm sure I'll figure out where to go. Thanks. Okay, so I'm summoning all his friends. And I think what um, Buck wants to do is just have like one big LARP session. I think. And if that's what he wants, if I can remember correctly, because I'm, I'm going to be honest, I just like, like breeze through his like monologue of what he wanted to do. But I think that's the gist of what was supposed to happen. Because boy, when I tell you, it read like an essay. It read like an essay. All right, so now we're going to go to Bottom Line Corm and then Oxbury. But it sounds like Francis is here. That's his music. Yeah. Let's see. I'm pretty sure I don't, I can't get, so you see like all that I'm, oh, wait. I'm missing diamonds from the errands and I can't get the diamonds without um, XP lotion. You see that? I, I need four diamonds. Honestly, I don't even know where I got the three diamonds. So, see you later. I got somewhere to be. Bye, Francis. Bye. Here we go. Okay. Now we're out of here. Now where was I? Oh yeah. I'm gonna find Stanley to see if there's any other conversations I need to have with him. Ooh. Sustenance! Hello. Commander. I... Well, never mind. I have some snacks, Stella. Do you want some? More cheese sticks, huh? All you give me are cheese sticks. Humble thanks, Commander. This sustenance is right on time. My hunger was reaching level one. Wow. <laughs> I make myself laugh. You wanna chat? I don't feel so great. I think I should be alone. Okay, so regardless if I see him out and about, I should just leave him alone. Okay, I'll do that. And... Um, I should probably cook some stuff because I am running out of things. Running out of things. I wonder if I can make... Okay, I'll do that. Running out of things. So, today is Sunday and I went to... Let me tell you how my day went. Oh, I'm, I'm already on the, all the way down. I'm already trying to like adjust my chair and it's already like at the lowest settings because I have short legs and so being at the shortest setting, the lowest setting is ideal for my legs. Anyways, here, let me fix my camera real quick. Okay. So this morning was fun. Okay. I'm not going to lie. It was fun. So this morning I went to my cousin's party. Uh, she turned 21 today and we're all very happy for her. 
because that means she's going to start a new chapter in her life of fun and all this kind of good stuff which is really cool you know like you feel like your life is really well for her i feel like her life has already like started she's already like in her career and that's a lot more than what people can say at her age you know i definitely couldn't do that like i wasn't doing that you know at her age so i commend her for that you know um so she's turning 21 and she's a good you know she's a good young lady like good heart and everything and so it was really cool to see her family turn out uh her party started at 11 and she, her mom had like the brilliant idea of having like a big breakfast and she had like a really nice spread it was awesome the only drawback was that it was i'm not even kidding outside it was 109 degree weather crazy luckily she had like tarps so like we weren't under like direct sunlight but we were essentially baking but i mean you know you down a few bottles of water and honestly like the sweat just doesn't bother you anymore as long as you can do everything that prevents you from getting a potential heat stroke you'll be fine but yeah we had a really good time um the food was great and then her mom surprised her with a mariachi band to come and sing her las mañanitas which is basically the birthday song um if you're from Mexico. I don't know if you like the Mañanitas are a birthday song uh, for other Spanish-speaking spe Spanish countries, but it was really nice. Oh. Drink from the necks of my enemies. Bubbly champagne tastes like equity. Alright. Okay. We're looking... Take that, you capitalist pig. I'm gonna eat two steaks tonight. You do that. Um, okay, so we're looking for Buck's friend. Maybe this is it. Hooray! Okay, so it's not him. I was not ready. Wow, Buck sent you? Finally! Oh, whoops, sorry. I mean, Glad to finally make your acquaintance, Commander. Mm. I am indeed Wardrick the Bard. It was I who composed the ode to Flabregon, the drunk. I who solemnly performed at the court of Queen Fluthian for her mm. wedding. And I'll be the chronicler of the Silver Company once again. Pretty good, huh? Haha, <laughs> I love this character. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can count on me. I will meet you at the Naked Mole Bear Inn. No, bleh, Naked Mole Bear Inn as planned. Naked Mole Bear. What is that? And in the meantime, I'll scour the elder archives of the great library of Walla Blue in search of very precise information. I also need to tell my mom. Okay, gotta run. See ya. Wow, like, I think when I stream is the only time I trip over my tongue. Like, I've never, like, <laughs> I know how to read, <laughs> okay? God. <laughs> it just be like that sometimes, okay? All right, now we're going to hightail it to Oxbury, which is this guy right here. Okay. Now let's see if... Buck has anything to say? Oh, I almost forgot. I have something in the in the kitchen. Oh, it's not ready yet. It's almost ready. I might have to pick up some more supplies because I don't want to end up just making grilled veggies all the time because some people just don't like it. You can't feed it to them, you know? And then they end up starving on your boat, which is not good. Anyways. Come on. I was editing... Um, I was editing uh, one of my videos and I was trying to edit it in a way where it was just like exasperated, exasperated, exasperated. And I think I did pretty well. Considering I'm still a newbie. What's this? Oh, a frittata. Nice. Um, yeah, but I mean, you can be the judge of that uh, if you want to check out my channel on YouTube. And 
I, I went ahead and updated the link in the description. So it's there. So go ahead and check it out. I wonder if he wants a hug. Okay, he, he's good. He's down for a hug, but not conversation. Okay, so let's leave him alone. Let's leave him alone and let's go look for Buck. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so if you want to look at my other videos, the, the um, streams that have, are long gone, um, go ahead and check that out. Um, and I'm going to download the ones that I have on, as highlight reels uh, so I can go ahead and edit them. So just, I mean, because like some of them end up do having dead air and I mean like I'm just starting out okay so I just gotta get used to talking to myself <laughs> um, I mean some people are just naturals at that start the event no like my dad he loves talking to himself I think he'd be pretty good at it too what is this Oh. Oh yeah, this is his house. It just looks weird, I guess. It kinda look like a it kinda look like a kinda look like a dead body. It looks really weird. Anyways. Let's see how far we are from Oxbury. Okay. So yeah, um, like I was telling you earlier, we are at her party and we had a really good time. It was really cool sitting and hanging out with my cousin. Um like my cousin's really cool. She has uh, two kids and her kids are freaking hilarious. Like her oldest kid, I, I wanna say he's like, he's my nephew's age, so I wanna say he's like nine, 10. And um, like, I'm not even kidding you, this kid is so freaking independent. He, how, he was having trouble at school, right? And like he felt, he felt like the teacher didn't like him. He felt like the kids didn't like him. And some thing went down where a little girl was pushed and little, literally everybody was pointing their finger at my cousin's kid. And at this school they have um, cameras. Just, you know, sidebar. So my, ne my, my cousin's kid was persistent. He was like, I didn't push her. I didn't push that little girl. I promise I didn't push her went home told his mom the same story you know my cousin she's like I, I didn't push her she was like okay and so she's like if you say you didn't push her i believe you because i know you won't lie to me turns out they like look at the camera and it wasn't him he didn't push this little girl i don't know who did it's irrelevant <laughs> but like this this served as a sort of hey paxton this this served like I was just in the middle of, of like telling a story. <laughs> um, my my cousin's little kid, so independent. <laughs> Anyways, oh okay, yeah, no worries, Paxton, do your thing. Hope you enjoy the stream for as long as you're here. Um, so like this little incident, okay, <laughs> yeah, go for it. So like this little incident where like everybody was pointing the finger at my cousin's kid actually helped him build his case to the principal which by the way like he took it upon himself this 10 year old took it upon himself to go to the principal and be like look nobody in the class likes me teachers don't like me i feel like i would do a lot better if you just place me in another class and if you want an example here's the situation that happened and anyways so he goes home you know like he casually mentions it to his mom he's like and you know my cousin's like oh well crap you know maybe we should move you from that classroom and and he's like oh no don't worry about it i already i already talked to the principal he's already making things happen and that's exactly what happened like after that conversation he was moved to another class you know what i mean and i don't know about you but i find that so interesting because I mean, kids usually don't do that, you know, they usually go home and tell their mom and have them like handle it, you know, but he's like, no, I got it. <laughs> but that's very much like his, the way he is. This is our town. Hey, you, we're the Dice Boys. Don't forget the name. Yes, I remember you, Dice Boys. You have, you literally, Dice Boys, literally have me 
running around oh. this whole map, you know, passing out your CDs. Okay, so I know who you are. Okay, so now we're finding, um, we're trying to look for Buck's last friend, which I don't even know where the hell we're gonna find this kid. Have you seen this man? Oh gosh, I forgot the picture at home. Let me describe him to you. He has hair, he's got a round face, his eyes are green, no wait, brown maybe? I'm not sure about his eyes. I would have told you to call me if you found him, but without his picture, it's near impossible. I won't find my brother anytime soon with that attitude. Sorry for the bother. That was a strange conversation. Um, so that's that's the oldest, right? That's my cousin's oldest and my cousin's youngest. My brother's tripping out inside our apartment. I need to find him milk or something. This is some wild stuff. He needs some milk. Okay. He n Give him some milk. He needs some milk. Okay, where is this guy? Is he in here? So yeah, the youngest one, she's like, wants to be just like her mom. She's all about makeup. Like, she's like this small. Okay, no, no joke. Like, and she's so smart. Like, ugh, I just, her kids are so, she did good. She did real good with those kids and she's, she's still at it. Like, oh my God. This is the first time something like this has ever happened to me. Like what? Come on, give me some more. Give me some more info, man. You can't just, you can't just do that to me. Well, well, ahem, ha, finally. No, I won't bow before you. I know who you are. And although I respect your reputation, I am Elferin, Ranger of the Seventh Moon. And Rangers of the Seventh Moon bow to no one. As the leader of the glorious Silver Company, I will uphold once again the Crusader's mantle. Some preparations need to be made. And then yes, I will ride my noble steed and regroup with you all. Go, reunite the fellowship. For the time has come and adventure cometh once more. In my head, that's what they sound like. <laughs> Oh my god, this is gonna be, this LARPing session is gonna be great. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> like, I think, I could be wrong, but I think there might be like, LARPing groups. You know, like that's what they do. Like they might meet up just like these guys do and they kind of just LARP. And I don't know, but like, I feel like it might be like the Star Wars fans where they have like their own, um, I don't want to say like legions, but like groups, I guess, for lack of a better word. Um, and they probably get together and do all that stuff. In the woods, probably. Um, okay, let's give you some onion rings. Oh crap, I forgot. He doesn't like veggies. Maybe, wait, I have cheese sticks. Wait, can he eat cheese sticks? Whoa, thanks. This is so good. I don't feel so great. I think I should be alone. Oh, he's still in bad mood. He's still in a bad mood. Yeah, so he's still sad that people didn't like his play which i'm not gonna lie i would be too even if i did think that it sucked you know oh this guy's still asleep okay um so when your spirits are still asleep what you have to do is ring the bell have you guys ever watched um and i'm sorry like i can't see who's all watching um, but have any of you guys, um, oh, this is utterly fantastic. The Silver Company has answered the call once again. We will soon 
traips once more on the Elysium Field of Adventure. May the eleven stars bless your heart, Commander. You truly have been an indomitable herald of bravery. Now our next step will lead us to a shifty tavern. The Naked Mole Bear Inn, nested in the frozen mist of the white hamlet of Nordweiler. But before our appearances at the mysterious premise, there is a little something we should accomplish, Commander. I certainly am entertaining the concept of sustenance. Yeah, we cannot come empty-handed. That wouldn't be a good idea. Okay, look. We should bring munchies, otherwise everyone will be miserable. Let's say some popcorn? Uh, corn dog would be nice too. Oh yeah, and for dessert, toffee. Yeah, that should do it. All right, where was I already? Oh yeah. This undertaking might very well be below your level, Commander, but it shall be a well-earned respite in our quest for justice and glory. Onward! All right. Okay, now Stanley's finally ready to talk to us. Oh, we have a corn dog recipe. I already know how to make popcorn, so we're good on that. I, oh crap, I think I have to make corn. I've been thinking about my play and how people didn't like it. It's okay. My mom's, as mom says, they are entitled to their hope onion. I'm not angry or sad anymore because of it. I guess there are things in life you can't really control, can you? Like, big hat. I don't think I can be here anymore. We should go to the Everdoor. Will you come with me? I think I'm scared. I don't think I like new places that much, but if you're with me, I think it will be all right. All right, that's it. <sighs> Stanley's time has come and we must say goodbye to him. Which is, I mean, it's, it's interesting because usually when it's time to go, these spirits come to a place where they're like, I, it's not like they have any more requests to fulfill. It's almost like there's, there, an, the optimism, the optimism that they had is just gone. You know, it's like, it's usually they ask to go to the Everdoor when they come to face some sort of reality that they might have had to endure when they were alive or something like that. You know, because usually, like, for example, when Stanley was on my boat, he just wanted to play and play and play. And then now, because nobody liked to play, he was like, you know, let's just go to the Everdoor. And the same thing kind of happened with Astrid, which was a lion on here. Like, she was like, yeah, you know, let's go hit up all my friends, you know, um, go here and here and here on the map. And we're going to talk to my old girlfriend. So we're going to, you know, catch up on gossip and all this stuff. And I was like really living for that. And then we ended up picking up her husband, who was her husband in real life as well. And he ended up cheating on her, like while they're both living on my boat you feel me and so like she was kind of just wanted to be on her own for a while and then like after that she was just like came to a realization that it was like well maybe it's time for me to go to the everdor to you know so it's always like that it's like it's like they never leave satiated you know they never feel they never leave with like a sort of sense of accomplishment um, it's always like some, and I guess, I guess it makes sense because like the idea of passing on or, you know, transitioning, dying, whatever you want to call it, um, always carries like a level of melancholy, you know? So I guess it suits. <sighs> I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud guys, you know? Let's find out if we have corn. Corn, the noblest of the vegetables. Mm, so we don't have corn, so let me look at my what we have here. Maybe I have corn seed. Ooh, I have corn seed, hell yeah. Nice. And I'm going to look for, we'll look at the recipes for corn dog and 
And what was the other one? Corn dog. Corn dog. Corn dog. Corn dog. Corn dog. Toffee. Okay. I'm just trying to get a headache. Like, I really want to finish this game today because if you've been watching you probably already know that i'm super stoked about the game that's coming out on friday <gasps> and i just found out that i'm off on that day so mm. Mm. so excited i'm definitely not gonna wait until sunday the next sunday to stream because like i need to play this game like i've been waiting for this game to release on switch since november Okay, since November, we're gonna play it on Friday. Okay, so nice little Easter egg for you guys who are watching because um, I don't know if I'll remember to put it on my Twitch schedule. Stella, 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 guess what? They finally corrected the second module of the weapon manual. They added the critical tables on finesse weapons and clarified the rules of engagement right when I was about to call it quits on War and Worms. You know, I was legit worried that it would go down the 2.5 edition path. Yes, I know, I'm not mincing words. Remember how they modified the spellcasting system? Ha, as if W&W &W was a kid's game such as Sorcery the Reunion. Man, even after all these years, I'm still so mad about it. I love it. <laughs> I don't know what this, I don't know what that man is saying, but I love it. <laughs> Anyways, what was I saying? Oh yeah, right, Amori. So, um, I mean, I'm gonna put it on my Twitch schedule, it's fine. Start the event, no. You know what, I was just thinking, like I wanna say it was the last stream or the stream before that. I was like, man, I wanna add another date to my streaming schedule that way i'm streaming twice a week and i think friday would work because sometimes i'm off on a friday and when i'm not i'm off on saturday so either way like if i stream early enough i think um i'll still have enough time to do stuff afterwards and it won't interfere with whatever i got going on the next on the next day so i think maybe Friday would be the best day, so I'll be streaming Sundays and Fridays. So I have to remember. Let me write it down. You know, I like writing things down on my phone, like notes and stuff. But I prefer writing things down on a um, on pieces of paper, like pen and paper. I have this dry erase board right here that I share. Um, add. I'm writing on it right now. It's like right here. What is it? Add Friday to stream schedule. Stream em em schedule. Okay. There it is. There it is. It's on the board. It's going to happen now because it's on the board. Oh shit, I got to talk to Stanley first. I'm kind of hungry. I feel like... Oh. Big hat. Can we go yet? You decide. Yeah, we can go. Thanks. Why am I so hungry? Let's see. I had ceviche for lunch. I had two pieces of toast for breakfast. And then I had a sausage taco for a snack. Why the hell am I so hungry? And why the hell can I leave? What is happening? Come on, Stanley. We're just waiting on you, buddy. Are we there yet? I mean, we will be soon. If you just, you know, put a little more pep in your step. I am so hungry. What is happening? Oh, I almost forgot. I liked it when it was just you and me. Doing experiments and running around, chasing dust shades. Don't forget to do that sometimes. I won't be there, but I'm sure it will still be fun. That's true. He is speaking facts. Because for a while, for a long while, um, if I remember correctly, he was the only one on my ship. It was just me and him. 
I think it's interesting that it picks that the game picked up on that because uh, other people they'll pick up their spirits um, in different order so at any given time everyone's spirits on their boats will be different people can be mean really mean why do they have to be my mom is mean sometimes just like your friends after my play and it makes me sad when people are mean and sometimes I cry when I'm sad but then I remember I remember what my dad used to say Stanley people are not really mean sometimes their intentions just take the wrong path I don't hate your friends they're not bad people that's what my dad would say they just do bad things sometimes. It's very wise. And kind of not true. I never wanted to let mom down or make people not like me. I don't want to do bad things, but sometimes I do. And I always regret it. I don't think that makes me bad. Do you think my mom will be disappointed in me? Disappointed that I had to go? I tried. I really tried, but I don't think I did it. I like it when I win, but I couldn't this time. I think it's okay. It's okay to lose sometimes. I really think it is. Yeah, you can't win them all, Stanley. I'm really trying to be brave, but I'm, I'm really scared. I wish I could be a superhero and never be afraid. I've hoped so much that this was just a nightmare. If this is a nightmare, why can't I wake up? I was trying, trying and trying. I wanted to wake up. I always talk to myself, Stanley wants to wake up, but it never worked. I never woke up. It all felt so real and it made me sad. So sad I couldn't think of anything other than sadness. You take care of Jacob, okay? Jacob is a good beetle and he was my friend. This is exactly like in my play, but this time I'm the lead actor. I will put on a good show, I promise. Hmm. It's sad, it's sad because you know Stanley Mushroom Man is, was a little boy in real life. Not like in real life, but like in the canon of the game. I feel strange, I feel cold. I wish mom was here and dad, but you're here, big hat. I really like you. I hope it's like falling asleep. Uh, so then this is how it is when this was their converse, their last, this was her last conversations, either in reality or this is just her imagining the last conversations of the patients that were in her care when she was alive. So if this is the last conversation, that's so sad. We should all be so lucky to leave, you know, this phase, this life in our sleep. We should all be so lucky. There goes our little mushroom man, Stanley. And now it's just Buck. Whatever happened to Jackie? You guys remember Jackie? Jackie was the hyena. The manager of the hospital. Do you know? Okay. Alright. So now let's go to Stanley's room. Oh, I keep forgetting. When you're at the Everdoor saying goodbye to everybody. These are all the spirits that were on your ship. Gwen and Gustav. Oh, look at that. Oh, look, and now Stanley's among them. Summer. Uh, what a sad. What? What? Oh, like, what kind of detail is this? Why? Uh, why do you do this to me, game? Why? You just. Remind me of all the friends that were on my ship. Oh, and then my uncle Atul and Alice. It's literally 
a reminder of all the people that were on your ship and it's freaking heartbreaking <sighs> all right let's go to stanley's room wait where the hell was his room again i gotta find his room here it is stanley's room oh and then i forgot you can still hug them it's like these it's like a stab and then the hug is just like salt salt from the wound you know oh of course it's a mushroom i wonder why some of them show up in the i, I wonder why the spirits manifest themselves because they do because when you find them they they're just like cloaked beings but then when they ask to be on your ship like they do manifest into you know like stanley manifested into well actually he grew into a mushroom like i plucked him out of the ground and he was there he was a mushroom man um oh i have to give all these things to buck okay cool um but otherwise like they all asked to come on my boat and there were mushrooms so where the hell was buck again hang on let me check 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 uh oh duh buck is a guy on our i'm here thinking like it's their friends you know what i mean the friends that uh we just went to go visit right so let's go to the kitchen and look at the recipes that he just gave us oh we can't shit we have to leave ever the ever door area crap all right so literally let's just go anywhere it doesn't really matter at this point let's just go here and then that way we can start getting back to work oh i have an itch on my ah, i have an itch on my foot oh Oh man, that was good. That was good. Okay, let's look at the recipes. All right, corn dog, popcorn. We already know you, you just put the corn in there. But uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Do you guys see corn dog? I don't see corn dog on here. Corn bread. I see corn bread. Give me corn bread. Okay, so I need pork and corn flour. So I'm gonna need a lot of corn then. And then, um, toffee. Toffee, 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 toffee. I'm still scratching, like, as I'm sitting here in front of you. Like, I'm still scratching. Mm, dairy and sweetener, of course. Of course. It's time to get our cow. But honestly, don't know how to get our cow. Um, okay. I do know that. Ooh, I love that corn is so easy to grow. We literally just planted this. And look how much it yields. That's amazing. Tell me it's not amazing. Oh, I grew all my corn. Okay, cool. Let me check out my other corn. Hello, other corn. Okay. Now. Um, let's make some freaking popcorn, bitch. Alright. God damn it. Come on, get in the freaking kitchen. Um, just in case I need more than one popcorn. And now we're gonna, I have this little thing. I don't think I've ever showed you guys. And this little thing here is my mill. Oh, that's not where I put the, the stuff. Wait, how do I get in? So basically this this makes the flour. So I'm gonna make some of this. And I think um, what happens now? Do I start it? Oh wait, I don't remember. Oh shit, what oh I literally don't know how to fucking work this thing. Oh, so I have to do this manually. Oh. I didn't know that. That's, 
So this is the first time I've ever used it then. Got it. So if you're wondering, like these little windmill things are going because I'm pushing up on the, the joystick and I'm actually making it move. But once I stop, it stops. Oh, it stopped moving. But how come I can't fucking move? Oh, can I like leave it now? Will it do its thing? Okay. This is gonna be there forever. I guess that was like the first official time that I've ever used it successfully. How the fuck did I get flower the other time then? I don't understand. Okay, let's, uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. Let's just get the popcorn, okay, it's fine, it's fine. I love that on the popcorn, like some pieces are burned. Okay, cool, it's still going, nice. Okay, so I wanna get some pork because I don't think I have any pork, so. Let's go somewhere. I think Oxbury sells pork. So let's do that. Uh, pork, 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 perfect. Land of pork, land of pork. Mm, sweetener, now that I'm thinking about it, sweetener. I feel like, do I have, I feel like I do, yeah. Sugar. Okay, cool. So we just need dairy then. Woo! Pork and dairy. Pork and dairy. Um, okay. I need to look at the map because I still don't know where the hell one would get dairy. Now, I've got three bovine licenses okay and if you don't know what a boy bovine is it's a cow but where the hell am i getting a cow where Ooh, you know what i wonder if i have to build the cow corral first oh cow stall <gasps> i might have to oh shit Okay, okay, okay. I need copper. I need copper. I need copper. I need copper. Hold on. I'll answer the question soon. Hang on. Let me see if I have any copper. Yes. Ooh. All right. Let's make like, let's make some of this first. Let's make some of this first. So wait. Okay. Okay. I'm really excited now because maybe that's all I needed to freaking do. You see what I'm saying? Like. This is what I was talking about at the beginning of the stream. I was like, look, I don't want to... Like, it was it was regarding me upgrading my ship, right? Because I didn't want to make it bigger. Because I didn't want it to be, like, you know, too big for me to, like, run around in. And, like, it'll... It basically, it'll, like, take longer for me to complete things, right? And it looks like... Um, I just... Maybe... Maybe I just needed to make a fucking cow stall to get a freaking cow. Maybe that's all I needed to do. And I'm over here fucking around, you know, installing my own, stalling my own freaking progress. No, I don't want to fucking make glue. All right, let's see, start the event, no, okay. So let's go back to the drawing board and make this cow stall, shall we? Uh, build cow stall. They're a cow stall. We're just over here being a cow stall. <gasps> Shut the front door. Shut up. Shut your face. Shut your dumb face. <gasps> it came with a cow. Hey, cow. You want. You want some food? Pew 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 pew. What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? 
straight. Stalling your own progress because you didn't know you could build a cow stall. It comes with the freaking cow. Shut up. Shut up. Don't, don't at me. <laughs> All right. Ah! Free stuff. Yes, I, I'm sorry, Buck. I'm sorry. But I just need to get in the water and get this stuff. Oh, I need to dive for this. Dive. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Mm -hmm. My cow, my bovine looks divine. Okay, let's give you some food, maybe some tuna. Humble thanks, Commander. This sustenance is right on time. My hunger was reaching level one. I don't know, like, I know I kind of sound like, um, what's his name? What the hell is his name? Dr. Evil? But that's just, to me, that's how they talk, okay? Oh crap, wait, I can't do this one yet because I don't have the pork. What can I do? Okay, dairy, I need a dairy and a sweetener. Okay, cook that shit. Oh, wow, it's freaking fast. Holy crap. <gasps> toffee fish. Now, if only you could make toffee in real life that fast with that little, with just those ingredients, that would be ideal. Okay, so onwards to Oxbury to go find the pork. Wait, are we moving? Are we moving? Yes, we are. Okay, cool. Dude. Dude. Wait. That's chicken. Okay. I thought we had pork. Oh my glob. Wait, how do you make XP potion? Wait a minute. Oh, you know what? I have a feeling Buck's gonna show me. I have a feeling. We could be wrong. So all we have left to do is corn dog it. Do you guys like corn dogs? I fucking love corn dogs. You, okay, have you guys ever been to Sonic? Let, let's let's talk real quick. Let's let's um let's be serious for a moment. Okay. Have you ever guys been to Sonic? Okay. If you're a fan of cheese sticks, best cheese sticks ever in the world. Okay. I've tried cheese sticks from different places. I've tried them from Olive Garden. I've tried them from Jack in the Box. I've tried them from. Literally, name it, I've probably tried it, but I will tell you something. I will tell you, let me tell you a secret. Let me, let me tell you a secret. Sonic has the best fucking cheese sticks that you'll ever find in the whole goddamn world. And that's on period. <laughs> that's on God. No, but for real, they do have the best fucking cheese sticks in the world. Okay, so now we're gonna go buy some pork. Um, I, I want to say that's like the only time that I that I dig on pork because I'm not much of a pork eater. Like I want to say the last time I ate pork was when we were in Ireland, and that was in that was in February last time I ate pork. I don't really like eating pork. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Last I heard it wasn't good for you. I mean, I don't know. Something about cancer or other, but... I remember... Do you guys remember, like, for a while there was, like, um... Everything, like, the news... And maybe it was just because I was watching, like, exclusively Fox News, which, if you are... I mean, I guess those are worse things that you could be doing, like drugs, but, um, like crystal meth or something, I don't know. Um, but I just kept hearing things on the news about various, I don't know, like cell phones, pork, all sorts of things that could give you cancer, like everything was giving you cancer. 
Um, it was wild. It was wild. It, that, it's like a slippery slope because one can end up living in fear, um, which is not something you sh that's not healthy, you know, but I mean, especially when you have like the news, which is supposed to be a trusted source of media, like, you know, essentially just only covering fear stories, you know, but that's the world we live in. That's the world we live in. Uh, well, that got serious. <laughs> All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut down my pork, my pork. I've been talking about pork. Uh, cut down my corn, my corn. I don't really fuck with corn on the cob. Just, that should be getting stuck in my teeth. You know, since I've been doing this stream, I've been getting a lot more comfortable with cursing. Don't know what that says. Don't know what that means. Um, but one thing for sure, I think I got more cornmeal, corn flour. Gotta feed my sheep because my sheep, they're a fucking menace. A menace to society. They're the spawn of Satan. My little spawns of Satan. My little Satan, my little Satan. Um, alright, let's feed these hungry bastards. Alright, let's go. Oh, gotta gotta feed my my newest guest. Oh, you hungry? Oh, you hungry? So oh, All right, let's go find the other spawn of Satan because he just roams around like he owns the place. Um, where the hell is he? Can't find him. That's okay. We um, the dogs are ready. Okay. Ooh. Here we go. The dogs are ready. The dogs. The dogs. The dogs. God, I love drag queens. Um, unless I like binged all of Trixie Mattel's YouTube videos, and I've gotten to the point where I'm like rewatching them, and I don't even care. I don't even care because they're so fucking funny. Her and Katya are. So freaking hilarious. I love their- they're like... They're like the women I want to be, you know? Like as far as like style, like so unapologetic with their style. It's just so freaking expiring. I freaking love to see it. Where the hell is Buck? Where the hell are you, Buck? Oh, there you are. Sustenance! Commander! I... Well, never mind. I have some snacks, Stella. Do you want some? Oh, you fucking gave me the popcorn? Jesus. Uh, wait. Do you want food? Or nah? Like, you just... Are you lying? Thank you, Commander, but I am f at full HP. This won't be necessary. Fine. Uh, in that case, take these things that I made so we can keep them moving. All right, let's give you popcorn. Hmm, that popcorn smells great. Man, Brian won't stop talking about it. All right, let's give him the other things. Hold on, corn dogs? Right on, some good old corn dogs. Jerome and I don't always agree, but our friendship has been cemented by our mutual love of corn dogs. As it should be. Corn dogs go hard, I'm not gonna lie. You know, even if I don't mess with pork too much, corn dogs, man. Corn dogs go hard. Too hard. That toffee is perfect. Wow, it looks so yummy. Bob will be delighted. Wonderful job. Yay, Stella. You've got everything. Oh, damn, sorry. Hum, hum. By the lords of Wairon, our fellowship's larder has now been filled up to the brim with delectable victuals. Commander, victory won't have been simply earned on the battlefield, but in the kitchen, too. Now let's soar swiftly and sprucely to the modest hamlet of Nordweiler. The Silver Company is bursting with impatience. 
the naked mold bears in walls will forever see in their stones imprinted the memories of our congregation. Give the order, Commander. Fate awaits. All right. Word? <laughs> <laughs> I make myself laugh. <laughs> oh god. That's so dumb. <laughs> Nordweiler. Where the hell is Nordweiler again? It's like some fucking far off land. Where is it? Come on! Dude, I bet it's like super far. Where is it? Where is it? What I tell you? <laughs> Where? <laughs> okay, so let me get the last of this cornflower though. That was my chair. I didn't fart. Okay. Alright. Oh, let me look at the map once more so I can see just how far away it is holy banana holy crap that is far Dang. oh my god dude uh. start the event no okay oh crap that's right i forgot to tell you guys I, so I, I own a Fitbit, okay? And I like it because it tells me how many, uh, oh shit. I was messing with the, the freaking, my little capture card thing and I was potentially gonna mess up my video, but um, it's fine, it's fine. So I own a Fitbit and I like it because it tells me how many calories I burn. And to me, that's super interesting. Um, but what I really like about the feature of Fitbit is that you can go on like little competitions with other people who have Fitbits. And I went months without being in those competitions because my strap broke because of wearing it all the time. And I guess like it just gave up, but it was time for new straps. And, and as soon as I got new straps, you better believe I texted my friend and I was like, I just got new straps on my Fitbit. Let's go. So right now she just invited me to the, um, they call it the work week hustle. So it's me and three other people. We are um, competing against each other. Oh shit, was it? Oh, crap, 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 crap. oh no, it did mess up. Oh no. Hang on. Shit. Oh no. Uh, the video feed's fucked. Shit. It froze. It froze on there. Because I was still playing. Like on here. And I think I'm going to have to restart my stream. Which sucks. Sucks. Shit. Hang on. I'm going to save, what the hell? Hang on, I'm gonna save, I'm sorry. Um, shit, I, I thought I was out of the woods. Hang on, I'm gonna save my game, save and quit. I'm gonna stop the stream and I'm gonna restart it, okay? Real sorry, um, but I'm gonna, I mean, I have no choice. I mean, look, look, there's nothing you can see. So, um, yeah, I'll do that. Um, give me about five minutes and I'll have the stream back up. Okay. All right. Um, see you in a little bit, guys. Sorry.